Hi, this is Bobby from Dig Coding, and today we are going to connect to a DigitalOcean server using Mobit Xterm. So, if you don't know what Mobit Xterm is, it is a SSH client for Windows. Uh, what I like about it though is that when you do connect using SSH, you do get an S SFTP browser that is very, very handy indeed. Now, I have already downloaded this, but you will need to download Mobrex Term to follow this tutorial. So, first and foremost, what we'll do, we'll jump into uh, DigitalOcean, and what we will need to do is set up a new droplet. So, we'll start a droplet. Uh, we want uh, Ubuntu, which is already as default is selected, and we'll have a shared CPU basic. Uh, we don't want anything fancy, so we'll just collect, uh, tick the regular Intel of SSD and we'll select the five dollars a month option we won't add any block storage i'm in the uk so we'll go with uh, london as a data center region vpc network leave as is we don't need any other options authentication we will connect using ssh keys but we'll initially we'll uh, we'll do this using a password let's create a password quickly Okay, that should do it. Uh, I believe that's everything. Yeah, that will do it. I'll just take a second or two to load up. There we have it. Wonderful. Right, so if you want to copy the server IP address, and then uh, assuming you've already downloaded Mobit X Term, if you want to open up your Mobit X Term terminal. What we need to do first is click on session, the top left, click on SSH, and then paste in your IP address, specify user, and we'll add root. Okay. It then asks you for the password. Now this is the password we just used to set up the, um, the droplet on DigitalOcean. Straight off the bat, what we want to do, we want to add a new user. So I'll put add user Bobby. New password. We don't need the name or room number, work phone, home phone, or other. Just press enter. Is the information correct? Yes, it is. What you now need to do is open up a CMD, command prompt, and we now want to generate a key. So SSH keygen, enter to save there, yes, password, enter, enter, and there we have it. So this is the first key. We will need two. We'll want one for root and we'll want one for the new user, which is Bobby. So it's saved into this file here, which is .ssh in my uh, folder in the users. And we want to change these. So rename, we'll have this to root. We'll actually rename that to decoding root allows you to have more than one SSH key. Great. Go back into your command prompt and same again, SSH. Press enter, enter. And that should have generated another one. Okay. Rename these to did coding Bobby. You don't really need to name both of them, but I have a habit of doing so anyway. Brilliant. Now we go back into Mobrex term. We can close down the initial session. And we want to start a new, we can delete that. And let's start a new session. SSH. Uh, I've forgotten what the IP address is now. Go back to DigitalOcean, copy that, 
back to mode rex term and back into remote host specify and we'll do root first this time we want to click on advanced ssh settings and we want to use a private key so tick the use private key box and we want to now navigate and select the ssh key that we just generated which is uh, the root user which is there click ok it will ask you for your password again which again is the uh, the password we set up on DigitalOcean yes to save forget that for now and there we have it we have now connected uh, but what we now want to do is we want to save the key into SSH so we don't have to log in via it using a password so click on the .ssh directory we have authorized keys we open up that file we want to paste in the SSH key that we've just generated so back in the directory right click and we can open this using uh, let's open it using notepad and control A to select all and control C to copy and we want to control V paste into the authorized keys file for root and then save we can now close that and we want to now add the authorized key for the new user in this case is Bobby so we want to go back uh, we're in the root directory so we can go back here and we want to go into home and in home there will be the directory for the new user Bobby uh, you'll notice that there is no directory for .ssh so we need to add that create a directory .ssh navigate to the new directory and add a new file which is authorized keys and in that file when it opens there we are we now need to get the dig code in bobby so right click open with notepad control a control c to copy and then we paste the new uh, ssh key into the authorized keys file for bobby and save and we now have back to let's just open up root now that we've connected to the server using SSH keys what we can now do is we can remove the option to sign in using or connect using passwords and you do that by the using the following command so it's sudo nano forward slash ect slash ssh slash ssh d underscore config I have a typo there it's actually etc there we go what you want to do is just scroll down these are all of the settings keep scrolling until you get to the password authentication we need to do is type no control s to save control x to exit and at this point the the way that we'll connect to the server is with ssh keys it will no longer ask you for the password make sure that you keep your ssh keys safe so without the keys you will not be able to connect to the server and i'll just demonstrate that it does work so we'll close this session down and we'll just connect authentication using the ssh key so there you have it we've connected to the server using ssh keys that's the end of the video please do not forget to like and subscribe thank you very much for watching goodbye